Sometimes in an application, we know the rate at which the quantities are changing relative to one another. But we don't really know the starting value for either quantity. Sometimes instead of knowing the slope and the y-intercept, we know the slope and any old point. Let me give you an example. Suppose a certain college charges full-time students flat tuition of $4,300 for up to 15 credits, plus $230 per credit above 15. Our variables, then, are C, the number of credits a student is taking, and T, the amount of tuition. Notice that the equation we come up with will only apply if C is at least 15, right? Because that $230 per credit rate only applies if C is at least 15. And also note that the number of credits will definitely be the independent variable. Right, we're going to choose how many credits to take and find out what tuition we're charged, not choose what tuition to pay and find out how many credits we end up taking. Our tuition will be the dependent variable. So let's, let's just take a look at some values here. If C is 15, the tuition will be 4,300. And then every time we add 1 to C, we'll add 230 to T. So that'll be, what, 4530 if we go up to 16 credits. Our slope is going to be the change in T over the change in C. So 230 over 1, or just 230. Our point, we're going to call that C0, T0, because we have a given value of C and a given value of T. Our given value of C is 15 credits, which goes with the given value of T, $4,300. And then, now we're ready to write down the point-slope form. T minus the given T is 4,300 equals 230 times C minus the given C is 15. And that's our equation. That equation relates the tuition to the number of credits.